Mm, morning all. First light, 6am. Kind of random night again. We were up for a few hours because we thought the anchor was dragging. I think we're just a bit jumpy about it, really. The whole kind of like caution of anchor dragging is because we've had problems with it before. It wasn't dragging. We literally just had a situation where swell was coming in from one side and the wind dropped. So the anchor wasn't dragging, but the boat was getting pushed. And so the anchor line was going off. So it was just drifting. Now well, we've got 60, 70 miles to do, and we're not sure what the wind is going to do today. So it could be a very long day. It could be anything between a 12 and a seven hour passage, depending on wind. Hence, we have decided to head off pretty early. So beautiful full moon last night. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Good morning, everyone. It is 6 a.m. Nick is just uh, on the foredeck, just bringing the anchor up. And if you can hear beeping in the background, that's just our anchor chain counter thing. And we're leaving Ko Chang, which I'm really sad about. And we're heading to, uh, well, tonight we're heading to Ko Samet. Uh, and then tomorrow we're heading to Pattaya. So it's a two day passage to Pattaya if you stop overnight. And this morning is like the first time I've actually felt a little bit cold, a little bit chilly. Like I'm wearing long sleeves, I could like almost have a jumper on right now. It's actually quite cool. Oh, the anchor's up. Okay, off we go. I'm Teresa, this is Nick, and this is Ruby Rose 2, our floating home. Join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran, documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we'd love to hear from you and a big thanks to our community of patrons. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, that was uh, wind as predicted. We are heading out of the lee of the island. So there is called Jang, got Jang. Uh, actually, the wind forecast, the weather forecasts have been pretty damn accurate since we've been out here. So the weather forecast today is for 20 gusts and 25. Now, as we're cruisers, 25 beams, we just want a uh, gust of 25. I want a comfortable passage. So. I will sacrifice half a knot of boat speed for fanning around with reefs all day. So we just went straight for reef two and we have a full jib out. We're getting better at the reefing, I'd say to you. But our boat speed, we have, let's just run through this. At the moment, we are running at about eight knots. Uh, wind angle is 78 and gust 20, gust in 22, 23, which is exactly what I want the boat to be doing. So I'm happy with two reefs. This is actually our course all day. So we will spend the next couple of three hours looking out for those little buggers. Lobster pots, crab pots, fishing pots. Just getting the boat comfortable. Well, it's a bit of a uh, wild ride. We've got about 20 knots on the beam. I think our apparent wind angle is about 90-ish. Two reefs in the main, jib out. But it's the sea state that's uh, really making things interesting right now. Very choppy this northerly swell which I think is a pretty standard feature this time of year especially with these stronger northeasterly winds it's gonna be a bit of a bouncy day but we are doing around the eight and a half nine knot mark so it's always easier to do with these conditions when at least you're making good time right now we're just kind of sat in the twin helms just keeping a lookout we've just passed some a little fishing fleet that was I think going back to port definitely plenty of fishing boats out here so just both keeping watch and uh, just enjoying the good progress that we're making I guess but it's definitely bouncy but you know what the, the boat is handling it really well we're not having any slamming we don't have any bridge deck slamming up oh, just now <laughs> but every now and again you do go over one of those waves that just uh, hits you generally pretty comfy I have to say. You can't see the block of the first three of it. So it's only about 30 centimeters up so not far. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Raise the halyard a little bit. All right. The sail looks a lot better. Things have gotten much calmer. The 
see, so it has really settled down. And the wind has dropped off a little bit. We're still doing about 20 knots true, about 17 knots apparent. And our wind angle is 70 degrees apparent. And we are doing between kind of eight and a half and nine and a half knots. We are occasionally hitting 10 knots, which is quite the thrill. We've been watching that uh, speed over ground figure creep up every now and again, hit 10 knots, 10.2, 10.3, and then fall back down again. But we're about 10 miles away from Koh Samet, which is going to be our home for tonight. And it's only 20 past 12, so that's the beauty of leaving nice and early, I suppose. It's been a good morning. It's been a really good morning. It's been a fast sail so far. And the sea state was a little bit tiring, but it's also just nice to be out here, to be honest. It's uh, yeah, a beautiful sunny day and nice brisk wind. And yeah, it's just, it's just good being out in the water, to be honest, even even if it's not optimal. Just hit 10, sorry, I had the camera pointed in the wrong direction. <laughs> there you go, of course that was gonna happen. Ah, oh, there you go. What a great feeling that is. Wind's died off a little bit, actually quite a bit. It's only about 12 knots now. We are pooping along, we've shaken all the reefs out of the main, as you can see there full main up and we're just pootling along at about six knots as has been established I think by now sitting up here when we're underway particularly if I can find a shady spot it's just absolute heaven my favorite place in the boat so peaceful just motoring up the coast of Koh Samet, only about a mile away from the little bay we came here on our way down to Ko Chang and uh, we tried to anchor in the bay and the police came and said no anchoring and you can't, can't go ashore and it's 200 baht each and you have to leave in the morning. So our plan is to head into the bay and pick up the mooring buoy and I assume that at some point the police will come along and collect their fee. I can see it. Neutral. Yeah, no shit. I think that's the figure just confirmed. This seems to be the main. Yep. The main loop. Yep. There's stingers all over this boat. It's all coral stingers. Okay. So don't touch it. Yeah. The towel's covered in stingers. All right. Well. And that's supposed to be the stop that you pick up. All right. What can we learn from that experience? This is the fucking strop is like two meters, two meters high. No, I know. This is a very difficult strop to pick up. The other one with the strop is that we can't like touch it with our hands because it's covered in barnacles. So it was a very, it was always. I've seen like, I've seen aquariums in Vietnam with less green light than that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, anyway, it's okay. We're attached. It's all good. We managed. Well done, babe. Well done, us. Well done to us. Okay, here we are again. We're not allowed to go ashore. So the fly fleece don't turn up. Well, they'll turn up at some point. That's probably them over there in the distance. I can see a speedboat. They'll see us on the AIS. Tell us again, can't go ashore. I am pickling. Pickling the water maker. We've used it. It's time to, well, we're not going to use it for a couple of weeks. So it's time to pickle it. Pickle it for Christmas. I all getting pickled for Christmas and they're getting pickled. My watermaker's getting pickled for Christmas. All right, well, it looks like an evening on board. Um, so I'm going to carry on editing this week's episode for all of you. Nick, you will carry on getting some of the things ready for our departure from Pattaya. Then we're going to settle down, have an evening drink, have a prawn curry. We've got some frozen prawns in the freezer, so that'll go down nicely and an early night I guess and then start again tomorrow morning I know that you're curious I know that you're strong but life can be furious and things can go wrong you go you go oh, looking very nice in that light tomorrow, but who knows who knows if we get joy or sorrow Ooh, stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul don't drain 
you're desiring what you can't control we fly we fly all right everyone i think that we're gonna leave it here we are nearly a very 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 busy day yes we have actually had a very busy day been a good good yeah. day good end to a day no yeah, I, i've had a good day have you had a good day did you have a good sale boat flew boat absolutely flew yeah yeah nine and a half knots you know yeah, it was Brilliant. fantastic. It was a cracking sale, really, wasn't it? A cracking sale. It actually was a cracking sale. Yeah. Bit bouncy in the first couple of hours, but nothing we couldn't handle. Certainly nothing the boat couldn't handle. It was no, pretty it's comfortable. A, it's a tough old bird. Tough old bird. Like me. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. As Phil would say, ciao. Don't say ciao. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next week with our very last sale before heading back to Bataya. And then we're off the boat for a few weeks, unfortunately. You won't have to watch that. And we'll be back to explore these islands in much more detail. So subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment. See you soon. Ciao. <laughs> River Road 2 is a bit of a mess. And our water maker's packed up. Do you want to tell everyone what's going on? Yeah, our tanks, our water tanks are full of so much shit. The other thing that's packed up is the ice machine. So we go from here and then at some point we'll just turn south. Today is departure day. The wind is still coming up from the south and they're punching into it. It's a little bit less comfortable, but at least we're making our way towards Malaysia. No, 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 stop. And this is what I was hoping for, sailing the Gulf of Thailand. We have just arrived into Malaysia. So beautiful. What a welcome into this brand new country. So excited.